Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. I'm gonna show you how great I am. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I'm gonna show you how great I am. All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, it ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn your right, you can be what you want to be and do what you want to do. Now if you know what you're worth, then you want to get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. around your bed, the ghost of the ideas, the dreams, the abilities, the talents given to you by life, and you, for whatever reason, you never acted on those ideas, you never pursued that dream, you never used those talents, we never saw your leadership, you never used your voice, you never wrote that book, and there they are standing around your bed, looking at you with large, angry eyes, saying, we came to you, and only you could have given us life. Now, we must die with you forever. The question is, if you die today, what ideas, what dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts, die with you you know there's no one else to look to expect that they'll pull up the slack this is this is your game ah! 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 
win this shit? Come on! Get it for
I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. I remember that after I was finished with my bodybuilding career, I wanted to get into acting. I wanted to be a, a star in films. Everyone had the same mind that it can't be done. Just look at your body. You have this huge, monstrous body, it's overly developed. that doesn't fit into the movies. But, uh, you know, I didn't listen to all this. This were their rules. I was convinced I could do it. And then I got the big break in Conan the Barbarian. Trust yourself no matter how, what anyone else thinks. And there the director said, if we wouldn't have Schwarzenegger, we would have to build one. Then when I did Terminator, I'll be back. One of the most famous lines in the movie history, all because of my crazy accent. Just shows you never listen that you can't do something. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. Don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure, or you would never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. You know that it's the right thing to do. Success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it's never been done before? So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. If I were to listen to the naysayers, I would still be in the Austrian Alps yodeling. I would never have come to America. I always listened to myself and said, yes, you can. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Work your butt off. I always believe leaving no stone unturned. No pain, no gain. out there partying, washing around. Someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. You can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in the pocket.
Rise and shine. 6 a.m. and your hand can't make it to the alarm clock before the voices in your head start telling you that it's too early, too dark, and too cold to get out of bed. Aching muscles lie still in rebellion, pretending not to hear your brain commanding them to move. A legion of voices are shouting their unanimous permission for you to hit the snooze button and go back to dreamland. But you didn't ask their opinion. The voice you've chosen to listen to is one of defiance. A voice that says there was a reason you set that alarm in the first place. So sit up, put your feet on the floor, and don't look back because we've got work to do. Welcome to the grind. For what is each day but a series of conflicts between the right way and the easy way? 10,000 streams fan out like a river delta before you, each one promising the path of least resistance. Thing is, you're headed upstream. And when you make that choice, when you decide to turn your back on what's comfortable and safe and what some would call common sense, well, that's day one. From there, it only gets tougher. So just make sure this is something you want, because the easy way out will always be there, ready to wash you away. All you have to do is pick up your feet. But you aren't going to, are you? With each step comes the decision to take another. You're on your way now, but this is no time to dwell on how far you've come. You're in a fight against an opponent you can't see, but oh, you can feel him on your heels, can't you? Feel him breathing down your neck. You know what that is? That's you. Your fears, your doubts, and insecurities all lined up like a firing squad, ready to shoot you out of the sky. But don't lose heart. While they're not easily defeated, they are far from invincible. Remember, this is the grind, the battle royale between you and your mind, your body and the devil on your shoulders telling you that this is just a game, this is just a waste of time, your opponents are stronger than you. Drown out the voice of uncertainty with the sound of your own heartbeat, burn away your self-doubt with a fire lit beneath you, remember what we're fighting for and never forget that momentum is a cruel mistress, she can turn on a dime with the smallest mistake. She is ever searching for the weak place in your armor, that one tiny thing you forgot to prepare for. So as long as the devil is hiding the details, the question remains, is that all you got? Are you sure? And when the answer is yes, when you've done all you can to prepare yourself for battle, then it's time to go forth and boldly face your enemy, the enemy within. Only now you must take that fight into the open, into hostile territory. You're a lion in a field of lions, all hunting the same elusive prey with a desperate starvation that says victory is the only thing that can keep you alive. So believe that voice that says you can run a little faster and you can throw a little harder and that for you, the laws of physics are merely a suggestion. Luck is the last dying wish of those who want to believe that winning can happen by accident. Sweat, on the other hand, is for those who know it's a choice. So decide now, because destiny waits for no man. And when your time comes and a thousand different voices are trying to tell you you're not ready for it, listen instead to that lone voice of dissent. The one that says you are ready, you are prepared, it's all up to you now. So rise and shine. something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. 
but it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. You changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. hard work. I used to hate you. When you called my name, I heard it but ran away from you. When I knew you were coming, I used to hide from you. When you influenced others to talk to me, I quickly made excuses to get away from you. Afraid of the pain because I didn't want to get hurt. Afraid to fail, so I didn't even try. And afraid of your name, because of what you have done to others. Who do you think you are? Making me so afraid of who you are. Reflection in the mirror, shadow behind me. I take one step and you're still ahead of me. Sweat in my face, tears in my eyes. I keep on going. I heard you tell no lies. You turn the poor to rich, F to A's. Is there anything that you can't do? Now look at me, you made me who I am today, and because of you, I have this never losing, never giving up attitude. Quitting? That's not in my vocabulary. When they quit, I keep going. When they sleep, I work harder. When they say that I can't, and count me out, I show them that I can. When I tell them about my dreams and they laugh, I make sure I laugh last. I'm a dream chaser, that means I chase my dream, and no one else's, only I can defeat me, it's me against this work you put on me, there's no losing, I will not lose.
now. hard work. My dad was right about you. You do pay off. And because of that, I love you. How can I not? I'm no longer hiding from you. I'm waiting for you. Matter of fact, where are you? I need you. Because in hard work, I trust. young man who you know he wanted to make a lot of money and so he went to this guru right and he told the guru you know I want to be on the same level you are and so the guru said if you want to be on the same level I'm on I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. he liked the beach I said I want to make money I don't want to swim guru said if you want to make money I'll meet you tomorrow 4 a.m. so the young man got there at 4 a.m. he already ready to rock and roll got on the suit he should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. 
Some of you lost sleep more than you lost success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Would a real Eric Thomas please stand up? Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up, stop sleeping on the street. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's gonna be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four year degree, but I got it. And guess what, on a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. But I'm exactly where I want to be because I realize I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. your little sissy ass feelings makes you want to cry don't look for a pat on the back for me motherfucker because I don't have one for you I don't empathize with you one fucking bit I don't feel sorry for you if you can't take it get the fuck on I don't need you fuck you You don't like that? 
Boo hoo, motherfucker, boo hoo. Go find your cornflakes. Eat another Twinkie. Undo your belt so your fucking ass stomach can fall out on the floor, bitch. Cry some more tears. Two tears in a motherfucking bucket. Fuck it. You don't like me? I won't lose no sleep over you. Motherfuck you. Sensitive ass bitches. You have no excuses. So no matter what, the nose bleeds, it's that time of the month, the kids are crying, you don't feel like it, you're a bad person, you got aches and pains, it's still your motherfucking sex. Let's get it done. I will never surrender. 
Weakness will not be in my heart. I will look to my comrades and to those who have brought me this world and those who have trained me, and I will draw strength from them. Who am I? I am a champion. I will practice so I can feel the battle, and I will move, move, and everything I can do, and I will reach my field of battle at any means at my disposal. And when I get there, I will ride violently. I will rip the heart from my enemies and leave it bleeding on the ground because he cannot stop me. Who am I? I am a champion. To my side, I have comrades. Comrades that have been through me through thick and thin, through sacrifice, through blood, through sweat, through tears. Never will I let them fall. Never will I let them down. And I will never leave an enemy behind because our opponent does not know my heart. Who am I? I am a champion. No one will deny me. No one will define me. And no one will tell me who and what I am and can be. Belief will change my world. It is through cotton, it is through country, it is put man on the moon. And it will carry me through this battle. Who am I? I am a champion. Defeat, retreat, those are not in my words. I don't understand those definitions. I don't understand when things go wrong. I don't understand mistakes. But I do understand this. I understand victory, and I understand never surrendering. No matter how bad things go, my heart, my mind will carry my body with my limbs are weak. Who am I? I am the champion. Today will be that day. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now, right here, in your house and in your home. Who am I? I am the champion. History will remember me. I will not let one of my be kind. I will define myself. I will write my own praises. No one will tell me what I can never be. I will never go out not knowing I've given everything I've got. Because who am I? I am a champion. 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 Who am I? because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now, I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now, I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're going to see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. As football guys, That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do?
know, there's something you gotta understand about training. It is not just the body that's at work. There's an integration of mind, spirit, and body at play. There's a threshold that you have to cross in order to access the power of the mind and the spirit in your training. Lifting barbells isn't just lifting fucking barbells. Lifting barbells is a transformative process that makes you a stronger person than yourself instantly if you cross this threshold. Most people are too scared to cross that threshold. When you cross that threshold, you're like breaking through a fortress and within that fortress, there are jewels of untold value that will instantly turn you into a brand new person. A type of person that wherever you go, people will know that you're not the same. People will recognize the newfound power in you simply by approaching training from the spiritual perspective. That power is only found beyond the threshold. That power that's within that fortress that transforms you instantly, that makes you a stronger version of yourself that everyone sees, knows, respects, can appreciate, it's found in one place. There's a single opportunity in your workout to access this gate, to move through and transcend yourself. It's found in the last rep. It's called the transcendent rep. Everything that you've done up to this point leads to this single sweet spot. And it is here that you grow stronger. It is here that champions are born. It is here that you become the strongest version of yourself. Everything else is just a warm up. You can't be in the flesh when you approach that transcendent rep, that last rep that your body doesn't want to do, but your mind and your spirit have already done. The body just has to line up with you. But when you cross that threshold, not only does your body grow stronger because you did that last rep, but there's an alignment, there's a unity that happens between your body, your mind, and your spirit only when you're courageous enough to cross that threshold, that transcendence rep. When you put every ounce of effort, energy, commitment, discipline into executing that last rep, you transcend and you are born again. You become a brand new person. You're resurrected in strength. And everywhere you go from then on out, people will recognize that there's a newfound power in you. They can't see you the same way. They won't talk to you the same way. They won't feel you the same way because you're brand new. You'll breathe different, you'll walk different. The look in your eyes will be brand new, stronger, more direct, more focused, more confident. They'll all know that there's a brand new, stronger you.